All right guys, so today what we're doing is we're tapering the bottoms for the lower ball joint so that it sits in there. And then we gotta drill where the tie rod's gonna go to a 5 8 hole. So that these outer tie rods could go in here. So we got this one in the vise. So it's nice and level. So first we're gonna do the lower ball joint and then we're gonna do the tie rod. Alright guys, so last week we tacked these in just to just see how this sit. But we're thinking that once this air is down, when this Jeep is going to go on the ground, this is going to hit. So this is where the ABS module is right now. So we're going to move this bracket out of the way and just kind of test it and see if this is going to clear. The computer will obviously move out of the way, that's just hanging in there for now. And then on this side, the passenger side, we're going to be taking out the battery mount, uh, relocating the battery afterwards, maybe put it on the frame, but then we'll put this uh, upper control arm tab up and then go from there. All right, so, so far we got this side bracket out, that one that holds the ABS module. And as you can see, now when this control arm goes up, it has a lot more room. So that's good. And then worst case, we could put the bracket back in, like maybe put half of it. So it would just be like here. And we're still okay. Keep in mind, this is still gonna come out, gonna be on a six degree angle, just for anti-dive. So I think we'll be good. And then let's see what Harmy is doing on the other side. Besides dropping bolts. What you got, bro? What you got? They were still in the batteries. Oh, that has to come out? Fuck, yo, they really went intricate with these, huh? So we're gonna take out this whole bracket, keep the fuse box there. So after like a good hour, we finally got this one out. And now, the good news is that we could still use the back half, and this will be supported, but we're gonna have to cut this bracket out. So we're just gonna have to grind these valves down, get rid of this, and then we'll have more room for the control arm. So here is the right side upper control arm mount. This is actually the left side on a Dodge Ram, but we're gonna put it on the right side because with this angle, it sits a lot better on the frame. And then we have like a, a 0.4 degree of a, you could say, caster. So it's sitting there. So right now what we're doing is we're taking these little nibs off because again, this is not on a Dodge Ram. So these are kind of in the way. So I took this one off and just grind this one down. This side actually lines up nice with them. So we're gonna leave them on. But yeah, once this lines up nicely, we'll be putting it on. All right, so we're gonna cut this off because we need it on the left side. And the left side we're gonna cut and then we're gonna put it on this side because right now this is gonna be sitting on the wrong side if we put this on. So the shock has to sit on the back side of this. So we're just gonna use this on the left and the left on the right.
So yeah, we're just gonna tack up the right side up. But I said, why don't we just put some weld through primer on it in case it works out, we don't have to take it back off. So that's what we're gonna do now. Our meat just there, just prepping the frame rail, getting that for paint. We're also gonna put some weld through primer here. So you should be wearing a mask, but yellow. So our meat is taping up this side and I'm working on reinforcing what we're going to be cutting out so we're going to cut out that much from here and also on that side so this piece is going to go in there i'll weld that up just going to bend it so it matches this little curve right here Alright, so this will, it's not bad, it's pretty much there. So now this will go on the inside. So when I cut that out, and then we'll just roll that in. So it puts some strength back into this. So I gotta cut this. I'm gonna use this to cut it. And then I'll just shape it up with the felt sander hat. All right guys, so this is ready now. We got in well through primer. We knocked off this little shock tab. We're gonna be putting it back on the other side. The one from the other side is gonna go on this side. And I'm just gonna weld this little C that I made in here so that's strong. So the idea is that the steering shaft should run about here. So that's why we had to do this. But this should put the strength back in it. Just gonna go ahead and weld it. So right now we're just putting the lower control arms on and then we're going to put the subframe, the cross member that we made, line that up. These are tacked in. And the army just tightening up the lower ball joints. This side is also tacked in. So that's the cross member that we made. We're going to see where that lands and I think we might have to move these holes like here, but that's not a biggie. These holes are for the steering rack. All right, so right here, we're just trying to, you know, it's kind of hard because all this shit's pretty heavy. So we're gonna use a forklift to raise the cross member up. So 
these points have to sit in here. And then once that's in, it will determine the bracket that we're going to make that's going to go from the frame here to the back of the lower control arm. So as you can see, these have to go in like maybe like here, so that's quite a bit. And this on my side is like, I would say about two inches. So if you could drop it, I'll bring it over this way. All the bushings have to go in. This play matters too. If you look at yours, yours is like kind of in the center, mine is touching. So we got to put the bushings in now. So what you want to do is just lower it and then put the bushing in? Well, slide it out, the bushing's in, I'll okay. slide it in. Alright, cool. Alright guys, so this wraps up another day, another progress day of the Gladiator build. So this is what we got accomplished today. So the tops are tacked in. Um, everything is sitting square, this is sitting at 90. We'll just let that kind of settle. Uh, we got the spindles in. We Taper these today, drill out, drill out these to 5 8 put the cross member in just to kind of see where it's going to land. I think we're going to put it behind where the stabilizer link bar goes, but we're just going to put it more closer to here. And yeah, all this is sitting pretty square there, 90. We have the upper control arm sitting at like a 5 degree angle now. So right there. And so we have some anti-dive. And we just gotta work on the lower control arm rear mount. So up here we got that drawn out in cardboard. I'm gonna drop that off at the metal place to get this cut out of laser so it's nice and like smooth looking transactions. And then we'll put that in here. And then I got the brace that goes in the middle off a of ram. So that we're gonna use in the middle. And on this side, same thing. Upper controller mounts are tacked in. Spindles, tapered bottoms, 5 8 And we're also gonna change this up a bit. We're gonna make this, cause we thought the holes were gonna line up here, but they're actually like way over here. So we're gonna taper this more and by doing that we're also gonna box this off full weld do a little cap on the back full weld all around so it's nice and strong and then again we got this little mount that we're gonna get dropped off and cut out of uh, laser and everything but yeah this is what we got accomplished this is day three of the build so stay tuned Follow for more updates. And again, big shout out to my boy Harmeet.